It's officially NaNoWriMo. Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. I am so, so excited to be bringing you guys nano videos this year. I really, really wanted to kickstart NaNoWriMo right at 12 o'clock, so I decided to do a 20-minute sprint and start my novel. Uh, I'm really tired, though, so 20 minutes is all I'm going to do for now. I have a really early morning tomorrow because I'm in university, so I have classes tomorrow, one at 9 o'clock. Yeah. Rip. and 1.30 so I really want as much sleep as I can but I needed to kick this off like I just really wanted to do this. so um, I'm gonna head to bed now but I got 208 words in not a lot for 20 minutes but it was the first chapter and for me that's the hardest chapter to write like hands down the hardest chapter to write but um, yeah I'm okay with 208 words I really don't want to rush through my words even though i know nano you're supposed to like get 50k words by the end of the month or like whatever your goal is but i don't want to rush my words because then they might not be as good and i'd rather have good words that take longer than you know a really quick draft that isn't good at all so yeah that being said i'm still gonna aim for my daily word count goal every day but you know if it takes a long time it takes a long time so yeah, I got 208 words up for sprint. I'm going to be continuing my day one when I wake up and try to hit that goal and tell you guys how many words I get. But yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm really, really tired and I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Guys, I'm so excited. My package came. It's a really exciting package for me at least. Um, uh, so basically, I ordered like, okay, okay, friends. <laughs> okay. Basically, I ordered a mini cure egg for myself because my mom doesn't drink coffee. She drinks tea, and I know you can put tea in a cure egg, but she's, she just like prefers to boil water and then like put it in. So, you know, not much use for cure. But anyways, basically this purchase is a mini cure egg, just because it's mainly me that's going to be using it. And I ordered it off of Amazon. It's so cute. It's light pink. And I'm just going to open it and show you. My cat is going to love to play in that box. Um, I also got coffee pods from Amazon as well. I did a lot of shopping on Amazon because I'm lazy and I don't like going places to get stuff. So these are Starbucks coffee pods um, and they are medium roast ground coffee. Notes of chocolate and toasted nut apparently. So if any of you have tried this, I mean, I know that author tubers tend to drink a lot of coffee <laughs> and tea and stuff. I drink tea and I drink coffee, but I've never had a Starbucks coffee. So if anyone's tried this before, please let me know how you like it. One second. He really wasted no time getting in this box. Oh my gosh, guys, here it is. It looks so good. So I ran through some water. Like, it doesn't hold a lot because it's mini. It holds up to 12 ounces. So I ran it through with water just to start for the first, like, pump or whatever. And... It's 1.42 right now, and my next class is in three minutes. <laughs> so I am going to do my class, and then afterwards, I'll get some coffee, and I'll show you guys how this mini cure egg holds up. And then I'm going to end the school day and begin the writing day. To manage the care of these, not only do we have to manage... <laughs> Guys, it's like the first day of NaNoWriMo I wanted to scare me off because I've been so busy today. It's six o'clock and right now is, is just when I'm starting to write today. I haven't written at all today and it's six o'clock. I mean, technically I did my kickoff sprint, but I only wrote 200 words. So I still have 1,500 to go and I'm starting to write at six o'clock, but I'm feeling confident. I mean, I still have a lot of time in the night and I'm going to put on a live stream. That's not live, but I saw that a channel called Word Nerds did a, a live stream earlier today. So I'm just gonna rerun that and see how many words I get in. Um, I have a cookie from Starbucks. I picked up my sister. Everything is done. 
and I'm just ready to sit down and write and get some words. So I'm gonna do that and then check back in with you guys after the stream to see how much words I got and how much I have left to go. Okay guys, I just finished the Word Nerds live writing sprint and I'm now 1,561 words, which I'm so happy for. The words just flew better tonight. I don't know what it is, but these um, are the words that I did. And then after at 7.45 p.m. when the stream is done, I did another 20 minutes and got another 346 words. And now I have a little under 200 words to go. And I found out that Kate is streaming again on her Twitch and I'm so excited. I'm gonna join in and finish up my words in her sprint and I will come check in with you guys after. That's time on our first sprint of the night writing session. Okay, so after one of my little sprint sessions with In Case um, Live, I reached the word crown goal and honestly, I would continue with the stream, but it's eight o'clock and I haven't eaten dinner yet. Um, I don't know where the time went. I was just so busy today. Um, so I'm gonna end it there. I'm not gonna do the stream anymore. I'm just gonna call it call it quits with my, my word count goal for the day. And I'm going to update the nano websites so that I can put in how many words I got. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat dinner and just chill for the rest of the night. I really like to relax um, right before going to bed. So I'm gonna watch something or read a book. And I'm going to wake up early tomorrow i have a another class so yeah that pretty much concludes my day one for nanowrimo um stay tuned to see how my day goes tomorrow i'm going to end it off here for the night and i will see you guys tomorrow morning bye disappointing moment when you want avocado toast i swear that's not all i eat when you want avocado toast and there's no bread but there's garlic bread so you have like the weirdest breakfast combination ever the day i felt so good writing these words because i'm at a scene that i really really enjoy writing which is very exciting and so far so far i'm on track and at this rate i'd be done november 28th but i don't want to jinx myself so yeah you guys i think wine is, is helpful when you're uh when you're writing because for some reason the words just flow a little bit better after i've had a little bit of wine of course not if you're age <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm very very happy with the words that I have right now. Some scenes come easier to me and that's because I'm really excited with what I'm writing and the banter and all that stuff. And then some don't and that's when the words are a lot slower. But I have finished my daily word count goal for the day and so I'm going to call it a night here and I will see you guys tomorrow. guys i just got back from my in-person lab which was on campus which isn't too far away from me but it was a really really early morning class and i'm done which means i have the rest of the day to write which is so exciting it's only 11 o'clock um, and that's early for me to be able to write at 11 since i have school so i'm very very excited and i'm gonna start right away Hey guys.
So what I'm going to do is 5 minutes of reading and then 20 minutes of writing because when I read I find my words are a lot better. What I like to do when I'm writing is I like to read something that is very similar to what I want to write. So if my novel is written in first person I want to read a first person novel. If mine is why contemporary I want to read a why contemporary. Yada yada yada. Basically the reason I like to do that is because um, my words are a lot better when I'm listening to the voice that I should be replicating while also keeping mine obviously unique. Um, but the one I'm reading right now, if you're curious, is The Unhoneymooners by, I believe, Christina Lauren. If it's wrong, I'll insert, I'll insert like a text of what her actual name is. But it's really, really good, and I love it because it's also Unwing the Lover Trope, which is what my novel is. Um, but it's obviously tackled in a different way than mine is, but it's still really, really good for me to read while I'm writing. So. Without further ado, I'm gonna get into- I keep saying without further ado, don't I? Anyways, I'm gonna get into 5 minutes of reading, 20 minutes of writing, and repeat. Also, this ice matcha is bomb. Cheers! My novel's officially 10,846 words. I'm going to update the nano site. Eek! I'm so happy. I started off like pretty slow, you know, like it was a struggle to get all these words. But right now it's at a point where it's flowing, so I'm very, very happy. I'm very curious to see how this graph will look at the end. It might be like. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And I'm really excited to see what it looks like at the end because I'm just curious. But I'm very happy. Five days in and I'm at 10k words and that's like crazy. And I'm super, super excited with how this first draft is coming along. So my words are done for the day and it's like one o'clock, which is insane. I never finish that early. So I don't want to stop with a flow because I do like what I'm writing. But at the same time, I do have to edit this vlog. So for now, I'm going to say that my day is open to do other things, to edit, you know, to relax. I did hit my 10k. I'm going to fill that out, but I do have a 10k reward. Um, let's figure that out right now, what that is. Okay, so my reward is a coloring session, and I'm so, so excited about that because I have a coloring book which is called Color Morphia, and it's like an adult coloring book, and it's so pretty. It's so nice. I love the images in it, and I love coloring. It's so therapeutic to me, so I think I'm going to either watch something later while coloring or listen to music while coloring, but yeah, I'm really excited about that. I think that'll be very relaxing, um, a relaxing way to spend my Friday night, and yeah. So the next time I'll see you, I will either be coloring, writing if I decide to keep writing today, or it'll be tomorrow. So, see you then. I'm so sorry I didn't vlog the process, guys. I was just so in the moment. But this is what I've been working on coloring in. Um, I love how it is turning out. I love the color combination. But it's tedious. There's, like, so much to do. But this was so, so fun to draw. It's so relaxing. And I love being able to have freedom in, like, where I put the colors. So, it's really, really nice. Again, if you want this book, it's called Color Morphia. And I think it's absolutely wonderful. Like... The picture options in here are just stunning. Like, they're so pretty. I love them. Hey guys, it's a Saturday. I just had breakfast. It's like 12.30 now. I'm kind of tired. I don't know why. Like, I, I got a lot of sleep last night, so I don't know. But I'm going to make a coffee now and then get to writing. Hi guys, 
guys, it's day seven, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about where I'm at with my novel. Uh, we have just finished writing Act One, which is really, really exciting. Um, and I'm at around 13k words, so I'm a little scared that I could be underwriting, which is a tendency that I have. But in the outline that I made, I inserted places where I could add more word count if I need to, just in case I reach the end and I, I find that I'm, I have a, a novel that's too short. Or a draft that's too short but then again that's, it's also something that draft two could um i could easily fix in draft two but you know if i if i decide that there are still days left in nanowrimo and i still have words where, that i can or scenes that i can lengthen i will do that but yeah week one was super successful it was really hectic but i'm so glad that you guys um stuck along with me for the journey thank you so much for watching my documented first week of nanowrimo um let me know how your guys's week went if it was similar to mine or if it was different um, how productive you guys were or unproductive um, let me know NaNoWriMo is just a fun and crazy experience even just trying it I'm very proud of myself yeah oh and one last thing um, I don't have any cabin buddies on NaNoWriMo or I don't know what you call them buddies just buddies um, but if you want to add me my username is right with B and I'll add you back um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I will be vlogging week two so stick around for that and I will see you then bye